Aeneid, Book 1, 561 to 578. So, following the speech of Elunius to uh, Elunius to uh, be able to uh, get uh, going, then we finally have Dido speaking. Then Dido, with her uh, having been cast down in respect to her face, this is the Greek accusative used with body parts, speaks out briefly, O Trojans, loose the sphere, the fear, ablet of separation from your heart, and shut out object phrase cares, a hard thing, hard fortune, and the newness of the kingdom, she's kind of learning her job, compel me to establish such things, like namely capture you and bring you here, and to defend the borders widely, ablative means phrase, with a guard. So she had a problem with her uh, brother killing her husband. She's got these barbarians nearby. She's uh, showing powerful kingship. Notice she's also very uh, downcast in respect to her face. So she's femininely modest for the Romans, not uh, cruel or anything like that. Uh, not uh, haughty, not uh, bougie. Uh, who uh, would not know, this is deliberative, deliberative subjunctive, uh, the race of the Aeneids, of Aeneas, uh, the Aeneid peoples, which you guys say you are, who understood does not know the city of Troy and uh, her virtue, strengths, and her men. Notice the nice uh, 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 polysyndeton there, but you also have the nice sound effect too, the alliteration. And the incendia, the flames of so great a war. Uh, the heart uh, is not so obs insensate or obtuse, stupid. Um, so uh, th there's your subject and verb. We, the Parth we Parthagin uh, Carthaginians or Phoenicians, uh, do not bear such a uh, dumb heart, uh, nor uh, does the sun yoke his horses uh, so remotely, does the so remote sun yoke his horses from the Tyrian uh, land. What does that mean? Well, we're not uh, BF Egypt here. Uh, we know all this stuff, but we're also uh, not uh, in the north in a cold climate, so we're not cold-hearted. So we have a CU here uh, and a seaway. Whether or not you would desire, you desire great Hesperia and the fields of Saturn, Saturnian fields, or, or whether or not you would desire the boundaries of uh, Eryx and... Uh, Sicily, and King Acestes. Whether Whatever you want to do, the mid-time future, I will dismiss you, uh, understood safe, with aid, uh, uh, ablative of uh, means, and I will uh, assist you with treasures. I'm going to give you uh, some money. Go away. Uh, that's hospitality. Uh, are you willing to perhaps settle down with me? And uh, in, these, uh, ki in these regions, these kingdoms, uh, equally, uh, and uh, equally on these kingdoms. So she's uh, saying, well, you know, you could go or, hey, you could stay. I would let you be equal. Here we see uh, Dido, is she kind of uh, being a little too trusting to these men? Although she's heard about good things about them, but... Uh, you know, it's kind of like uh, a warning sign. Uh, I build, which city I build uh, is yours. Hey, you've got my stuff. Draw in your ships. Trojan and Tyrian uh, will be done by me. This is kind of a rare dative of me, of agent. Will be done by me with no discrimination. I'm not going to differentiate between Trojan or Tyrian in this new kingdom I'd like to propose to you. And I would wish that Aeneas himself, the king, uh, having been driven by that same wind, uh, were present. Oh, will he be present? It's a 
contrapositive uh, or uh, unreal mood with the present signified by the imperfect subjunctive. Uh, equally, I will dispatch, and just I indeed will equally, equidem, right away, dispatch certain men through the shores, and uh, I will order to look for the, ex to examine the extreme parts, understood, the extreme things of Libya. I'm going to send out riders if, having been cast ashore, having been thrown out, he wanders in some cities, in some woods or cities. So they've come back and uh, look at this great uh, war, uh, welcome uh, Dido gives. She's a strong woman, but she's a, a woman. She's uh, showing modesty, which the Romans would love. She's a little needy, we would think, in modern society that she's going to share equally in the kingdom, but that, that's a little warning sign of her, of her uh, character. Now, reading on, reading on, because I want to read on a little bit. This is not in the AP list, but we should see what happens. So I'm going to go quickly through this one. Have him encouraged by these words uh, in respect to the soul. Uh, both brave Acates and Father Aeneas, uh, long since were burning, to, uh, uh, were burning to burst out of the cloud, show themselves. Acates... Uh, first addresses Aeneas. Oh, Akatis finally speaks. He says, O oh, goddess born, what uh, opinion uh, rages now, rises in your soul? Do you see everything safe, the fleet and your friends having been recovered? Uh, one alone is absent, whom uh, we ourselves uh, beheld uh, sunk in the middle of the waves. So they did see one guy die. Uh, all other uh, things... Uh, answer to the sayings of your mother. Uh, scarcely uh, had he uh, spoken these things when the circumfused, which is a great word, it means the poured around the cloud suddenly divided itself. Ah, mom's cloak of invisibility has reached its uh, limit and uh, purges into the open air. Ane Aeneas remains and uh, shone forth in the beautiful light, similar to a god, in respect to his um, his os, his, his mouth, his face, and his shoulders. So apparently he was pretty, uh, uh, this was a little added thing that he's good looking and he's got strong shoulders. For his mother herself had ad flarat, breathed upon her son a uh, graceful uh, air, and uh, purple uh, luminant uh, br brilliance of youth and uh, joyous uh, glories in his eyes, uh, beauty such as uh, the hand uh, adds to ivory, or uh, when uh, uh, silver or uh, Perean marble is surrounded by gold. So um, at this time, uh, Aeneas shows up to Dido, and uh, Venus has given him a little extra oomph, uh, given him a little uh, good-lookingness, a little uh, prettiness, a little manliness. And uh, then he says, hey, I'm here. There I am. Trojan Aeneas have been rescued from the Libyan waves. Oh, you alone uh, have pitied uh, the uh, t unutterable labors of Troy, uh, who... Uh, you would associate this city in your, in your house with the leftovers uh, from the Greeks who didn't get killed and from the land and from the sea, exhausted now uh, by all their down fours, destitute of all things. Uh, it's not in our power, O Dido, to repay your worthiness, uh, nor uh, whatever there is uh, everywhere of the Trojan nation, which is, you know, thrown out through the whole lands. Uh, so, what we have here is uh, Dido is now seen uh, great Aeneas, who uh, is the uh, last of the great heroes of Troy. And Aeneas has now suddenly appeared uh, poof by magic. And he's also appeared uh, utterly uh, hot. How will Dido respond to this? How will Aeneas respond to this? What's going to happen? Tune in next time for this question, these questions answered and many more. Until that time, true believers... 
Excelsior.